And there you go. Hey, what's up? Today, Grandma is going to pinstripe a uh, Kenworth truck, and I'm going to do a pinstripe flame job with uh, maybe three, four colors in it. And I will also be using the One Shot Pro Essence because I love it. Now, when you're going to pinstripe an old finish like this here, the most important part, of course, is to prep the surface so that your paint sticks. Because if it don't stick, it makes you look like an idiot. And I like to use a number of things. I like to sometimes use a Bon Ami cake soap. And then I also use the uh, wax and grease remover. And then when it's all done, I like to go over it with some Windex because it's got to be squeaky, squeaky clean. I also, when I'm cleaning, I like to use a sock. This is one of my husband's old socks. And uh, because a sock has enough um, tooth in it to really scrub the paint so that it, it really breaks into the finish really good so that your letter enamel bonds and if you have a good bond you have a good job okay so uh, here we go do you hear that do you hear that sound hear that that's the sound of the letters they're screaming because they don't like being put in an arc like this. Never, never put a script letter in an arc. It, it, it's just so unnatural. It, you know, people that put script lettering in an arc, yeah, right. Don't do that, very bad. But either way, I'm taking this old lettering off. Look at this cheap vinyl. I'm telling you. But, um, <laughs> so don't do that. No script lettering in an arc. You could go like this, that's okay, but don't do this. Very bad. I will come and spank you. <laughs> Very good. That looks good. Good morning. So, you know, yesterday evening I uh, prepped the vehicle, got that all ready to go, and then um, I took some pictures of the hood and the doors and called it a night. So what I did this morning is I took the pictures in here and I brought in some vector art from vectorart.com flames, put them on the hood where they're going to go, and I'm going to take that and then draw the flames on my plotter. And yes, I can hand draw them, but I'm, you know, I don't feel like going through the process of putting the paper on the hood and drawing the flames and doing all that stuff because in the long run, this is going to look just as good. And uh, because even though it is vector art, when I redraw the flames, I'll do some crossovers, a few custom things that I can just easily do with my hand and uh, electro pounce and it's going to look really good. And the nice part about this is I can do this in my pajamas. I don't have to get dressed. I hate getting dressed in the morning. Oh man, lazy girl. So I got my artwork selected here. And uh, let's see, I'm going to flip this around. Very good. Okay, got my 10 plot thing ready to go. Hit uh, send. Go for it, baby. Oh, yeah. That's pretty good. Alright. What I did is I kind of combined a few different flames into one long flame. And, uh, you know, when I redraw it, I'm going to make it look really nice. And also, like I said, do a few crossovers in the flame. by hand. This is so much faster. So, all right, so I put my pattern down and I got to, this is like, you know, pounds ready to go and I can, you can't see it, but you can barely make up the little lines 
of where the flames are going to go, and then I flip the pattern. And now I'm going to do the other side. I don't want to put a lot of powder down because then it's going to interfere with a nice clean line. So you want to get enough down where you can see what you're doing or what you're doing. And that's it. Take a peek here. Make sure I got everybody. Pop, pop. Yep. Yeah. That is good. That is good. All right. Okay, so now I'm ready to pinstripe. I think I got the radio a little bit too loud. I'm gonna have to lower it. <laughs> I love to have the music on whenever I'm working. I can't work without music. It's just like, it's like you're working. But okay, I'm gonna start my pinstripe time. Pinstripe time! And I'm using one shot lemon enamel in the color process green with a little uh, one shot hardener in it for added durability and gloss. And I've got my little Excalibur brush. I used to uh, do this thing with my finger thing and then the uh, mighty uh, Tramp Warner showed me how to palette a brush and I've been doing it like that ever since. So I'm gonna get to doing this Got a lot of magic dust on there. Okay. Get in the comfort position. Sing it tonight. Sing it tonight. We're gonna party tonight. tonight. I've got a new song. I present to you. Oh, like a like it. That's right. Oh, like a track. Oh, like a like it. I do it like a track. With me. Oh, like a like it. I do it like a track. One more time. Oh, like a like it. I do it like a track. Once again. Oh, like a like it. I do it like a track. Just you. With me, oh, like it, like it, I do it like a track. Yeah. Oh, like it, like it, I do it like a track. Yeah. Oh, like it, like it, I do it like a track. With me, oh, like it, like it, I do it like a track. You and you and you and everybody, like it, I do it like a track. If you like this party, everybody in the house, put your hands up and say, yeah! So when I say, oh, like it, like it, you must say, I do it like a track. Once again, oh, like it, like it, I do it like a track. Once again, oh, like it, like it, I do it like a track. One more time, oh, like it, like it, I do it like a track. With me, oh, like it, like it, I do it like a track. Like it, like it, I do it like a truck with me. Oh, like it, like it, I do it like a truck.
song is over. Hey, I like that song, huh? That's a crazy song. Later on, when you're not doing anything, that crazy little song is gonna go in your head and you'll be driving around going, oh, like a, like a, I do you like a truck. Oh, yeah, oh, like a, like a, I do you like a truck. And your friends are gonna say, what the heck is that? <laughs> Sorry, I just, I just had to play that song. It's a crazy song. But I'm coming along pretty good here on my pen striping and I still got a little bit more to do. And before I know it, I'll be done and this truck is gonna be on the road. There you go. All done. This truck is ready, baby. This truck is ready to go on the construction site. So I'm going to turn this thing around so you can see what it looks like, you know, the whole thing from a distance because right now all you see is a hood. Oh, the hood looks pretty good too though. So I'm going to put the hood over. Oh, you got a chingado. And we'll turn it around so you can check it out, okay? Yeah. Oh, like it, like it. I do it like it's rough with me. Oh, like it, like it, I do it like a truck with me. Oh, like